I've got some questions for you on your career called Hollywood True or False here on the Rich Eisen Show. Celebrity True. False. Celebrity True. Keeping it real. Or false. First one up for Justin Long. In Dodgeball, a true underdog story. When the first wrench made of rubber was thrown at you, it actually cut you open on your eyebrow. Is that true? Y- yes, it did. It did. Uh, it, it, it was the, Our director was a guy named Rawson Thurber mm-hmm. who played Division Three football. He was mm-hmm. a quarterback. Yeah. And, it, and so he would do a lot of the off-camera throwing. So for for the so it was never it was not Rip Torn throwing it at you. <laughs> no, although so that does make sense though, right? Rip was no. That's a, that's a longer story. Rip got very upset with me once for um, <laughs> oh when my. we were doing that that scene. Okay, he so thought now... I, he thought I spoke. He thought I said something, which you're not you know supposed to do it because it it, it interferes with the other actors' dialogue. Mm. And uh, and I was on the ground, kind of doing the motion of getting having gotten hit with the. Mm-hmm. with the wrench and he said uh and i he, i could tell he, he occasionally would forget his lines and he said and dodgeball was invented by the yeah what's he doing what the hell is he doing <laughs> he's dancing around like a monkey what the <laughs> f- and he started <laughs> cursing i didn't say it i didn't say it, I didn't say it. Okay, respect good. out of respect okay very good um <laughs> but he got very upset that he i was dancing i was moving like a monkey that guy Monkey, but, but and I thought I was. I had a moment where I thought, oh, maybe he's just improvising because yes. you know we, there was a lot of improvising <laughs> on the movie, and I so I kept kind of doing it, you know. Oh, this is our relationship, and he said, "No, you got cut," and then he, you know, then he. Now, were you bleeding profusely at the time? No, this the, was this you was were, another you referred to you as a monkey. Or? No, this is when I was doing off camera for him when it was oh, his of coverage. Course. Okay, very good. So when I was doing my coverage, they yeah. So uh, Ross and. Hurled at my, and it was it was like a blip 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 kind of thing, and they tried to close it up quickly, and and we just didn't have the time. So that was, I think, the first and only take, or maybe the second. <laughs> yeah, I hope it's it. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah they was it. That, that day, they, there was another day where they didn't want me to drive home. Uh, I remember because I was, we did a montage where I was just getting pummeled with with balls that were coming out of a, uh, uh, I guess, pitching machine. Right. And you know, I was trying to get it to hit me, and we call, we call these the comedies, and you want to get a Close shot of the, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. on this. These are the comedy zones, the That's genitals and the and the head. Well, it's also the strike zone. Yes. If you will. Yeah. Okay. See, I'm in a different line of business, so I got the comedy. <laughs> that, yeah. Uh, but are the strike zone, sure. Um, it so it hit me so many times. I uh, they, they didn't let me. They said, you know, they said, how are you feeling, Justin? I said, good. <laughs> and they said, you okay to drive? And I said, yeah. Okay. Uh, and then I remember that the, the the pitching machine was set to uh, <laughs> the, whatever they were sending the dodgeballs out of. Uh, and then Vince Vince Vaughn had to shoot his stuff next, and it hit him in the chest, and it came off really hard. And he goes, "What's going on? That's way too hard. That's going way too fast." You know, and he got really upset. <laughs> and it was such a proud moment for me because the whole crew was like, "Justin's been getting pummeled in the head for the last twenty minutes. <laughs> you gotta you gotta turn that down a little bit. Somebody's gonna get hurt." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love me telling this story. Second one for you, Justin Long. You were the recipient of Britney Spears' first on-screen kiss in the 2002 classic Crossroads. Classic. Yeah, thanks, Rich. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Is that true or false? That's true. Oh, it's a true false thing. Uh, was I her first? I don't know that she'd ever uh, on screen kiss. Uh-huh. I guess so. I don't know. It's her first movie. So it's her first movie. Oh, you're right. You're but right. But I don't know. She could have had a video before then or not. Who so cares? I guess. <laughs> uh, no. Yeah. He, he, it was. I think it was. I think that is true. She was very sweet. Okay. Um, she. I remember at one point our our legs. We were in bed. In bed. Hey. And our legs were kind of like intertwined, and um, you know, getting ready to do this this the scene. And and she said, uh, "I'm I'm sorry, my, my legs are a little prickly." Yeah. And I said, "Whoa, what are you talking?" And I have these gross—you can sort of see them. I have a hole in my gross, hairy, yeah. like spider legs. And yes. I was like, and I was feeling so self-conscious about how I looked because she was so pretty. And mm-hmm. uh, and I was like, "Oh no, they're—they seem fine. I'm sure they're fine, you know." Mm-hmm. And, and she goes, "No, no, feel." And she took my hand and put it on her thigh, and and. It, it was like a do- it was like the smoothest thing to this day I think I've ever felt. It's like a dolphin. She was so sweet. She was like so a nice. dolphin. Uh, last one or for baby's you. ass. Oh, last one for you. Less, even, even less sexual. We could. Uh, last one of celebrity true or false with Justin Long. Uh, you appeared in uh, ads for Apple back in 2006 to true. begin and all that. Is it true, true that you have a 15 percent discount on Apple products for life? No. False. Not? False. What the hell? Uh, not for life. I, th- I think that's, that I don't ran think out? I don't, th- well, in, I haven't tried to use it since then, but I think it was just while they were running. 
the commercials that's were running. They, so they were, I was going to ask you for help with a Genius Bar appointment. That's not going to do that. Gonna in fact, I had, to, ice? I had to go no. there the other day, and and not that they <laughs> they gave me less dispensation, but it sort of felt like that because I I was used to going to the Apple Store, and it was never like, oh, look who's here. It was like because they those the people who worked there would watch those commercials on a loop all day, you know. Mm. So they I was always met with like a mix of maybe there was a little excitement mixed in, but it was mostly. Oh, God, this guy again. Like, I'm so sick of this face. That's how I interpreted their look to me. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.